Welcome back designers, Dr. Steve Diazio here. I want to send this quick video message to highlight some of the things that I'm picking up based off of this past week's assignments and where we're heading in the future. So first, the Reimagine Higher Education Design Challenge. And the goal is, and I want to remind you, that we're going through the management design thinking process. I want you to remember to articulate and to utilize these tools and to demonstrate to me for the midterm and the final, how you are executing them and the insights that you are deriving from these tools. So this course is about learning the tools and going through the process. This also means do not jump forward and create a solution or pick an idea of what you're solving for. We are not there yet. We will have design exercises and tools that will help us determine who we're going to solve for, create a priority of the, the important stakeholders, and narrowing down the problem. So I don't want you to jump to the end right now and we start to lose the value of the design, management design thinking process if we do that. So I want you to remember to highlight going through the process. We have to trust the process and defer judgment. And it'll be through this process, ultimately we'll have a better outcome and solution. And that's what uh, the value of uh, management design thinking is. I want to highlight that in part of the empathy and human understanding part was the stakeholder mapping. And I want to make this clear. Some of us made the connection, some of us didn't. This is a, an empathy tool, but at a very high level. Before we can start implementing, we'll say, the social science methodology and research methods, we have to identify who, in a very high level, would be part of the solution or affected by the solution in positive and negative ways. This is why we create the stakeholder map. And many of you added significant dimensions to it, including emotions, motivations, interests. This was excellent. And it added a totally different level and way of dynamic, uh, of dealing with the dynamic and static uh, two-dimensional map that we normally use. And I want you to remember whatever insights that were derived from that map, particularly when we prioritize the important stakeholders and use, utilize the next tool of the persona builder. Because that will also feed into that persona, whoever you're solving for. And this is going to be the next step of the empathy and human understanding part. This will be prioritizing and developing personas and doing more social science research. Granted, this was a short class. We might not have the opportunity or we probably don't have the opportunity to go out and interview, but this is why it's important to also narrow down the problem of which part of higher ed. You don't need to solve all of them, there's plenty of them, but let's work smarter, not harder. And maybe an accept suggestion would be solving or reimagining the MBA at USF St. Pete experience, because you have experience with that. You've lived it, your testimony. You can tap into the experiences of your classmates. Maybe people that you know who've gone through it or people that you know might go through it. So normally we would um, observe, interview, and apply these social science methods for a short class. We don't have that opportunity, but you may want to do outside research, desk research, white papers, and understand the different trends uh, that are happening with these personas that ultimately we are one of many in a population. Next, I cannot stress enough to learn more about the trends that are happening in our current understanding of higher ed. I know I've provided some documentation. However, this is not enough. I hope that you guys look, go out there, look and see these ch changing, changing trends and understand the dynamics that are happening. Um, again, I couldn't suggest more than focusing um, when we get to the iteration of ideation and problem framing, maybe just solving one small aspect. It could be for the MBA, the USS of St. Pete or Mac, if you guys are in the Mac, because we want to create, by the end of this, very actionable items that we can take to the director of the MBA program and the dean and say, hey, in this management design thinking process, we utilize the tools to reimagine X. For instance, the MBA program here or the MAC or whatever. But we don't need to solve everything and frankly, we don't have time. So let's work smarter, not harder. Next, many of you touched on the importance of stories. This is essential when, in, when creating solutions or innovating in a company or pitching your ideas. It creates meaning. I want to see emotional stories going forward, rooted possibly in your experiences, 
and the observations that have been made, the testimonies, etc. And I'll be sending out more information about the importance of storytelling and innovation. So again, great job groups. I'm really happy with where we're at. Um, I can't stress enough, let's follow the management design thinking process. We have to trust it and defer judgment. So again, I'm on this journey with you. Keep up the great work and I look forward to seeing our midterms and the other tools that we'll be using and what you come up with. So keep it up.